Hi listener, my name is Nia Adeleye again. I'm the president and CEO of Perfection Real Estate Group, a one-stop real estate consortium on the rescue mission to make home ownership and participation in the real estate sector more accessible to Nigerians. And the purpose of my presentation this time around is to talk to you about a topic that says secure your future economy through land banking secure your future economy through land banking and of course this is based on one of our uh, products that is known as land investment offers land investment offers our land investment offers is aimed at encouraging land banking towards a secured future economy and generational wealth transfer. That is the philosophy around our land investment offers. We believe in secured future economy and of course that the generation after us should be better than us. And that is exactly the reason for the creation of these products. What does it mean to uh, bank in land? That is what does bank land, land, in, um, land banking means? Land banking is just a process of you strategically tying your money to land at a particular cost to you for the purpose of realizing its maximum economic gain when the land must have appreciated in value and of course on, in high demand for any form of human activities. That is what land banking simply means. And let's talk about a secure future economy. A secure future economy is that relative assurance of a better future and a higher standard of living that will be financed by returns from your investment in income generating assets that are greatly appreciated in economic value at the time of your, you know, realizing it. So we are actually creating a future you know a secured future of course a secured future economy by your you know investing in land today generational wealth transfer generational wealth transfer is the transfer of wealth also to say transfer of assets to beneficiaries from one generation to another an example of course, it's when parents leave behind real estate, you know, in land and houses for their children. So we believe that our next generation should be better than us. And so therefore, we should do something today that helps us to transfer wealth, you know, to our children. What we all need to do is to train our children very well in the management of this wealth. And of course, the wealth will grow from one generation to another. We believe so much in this process, you know, at Perfection Real Estate Group. Now, let's examine a United Nations report on Nigeria that actually makes us to take very serious the fact that Nigerians should invest in land for a secure future economy. Now, the United Nations Department for Economic and Social Affairs predicted that at the rates at which our population is growing right by the year 2050 the population of nigeria will be something in the region of 400 to 450 million people and over 60 percent of this population will be youth now what does this have to do with land investments you know the, 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 the more the population grows they further the pressure on demand for land and of course if we don't plan very well ahead there will be drastic reduction in the quality of life of course it's supposed to be a blessing to us as a group population but if we don't plan ahead for these things definitely it will be something that is messy but it's also an asset for us because 60 percent of youth means that there will be so many demand for settling down because these are growing population so and of course 
that is a lot of demand for land. And you know that the land is not expanding. Land is limited. When population grows, of course, there will be demand for land. And that is why you should start thinking ahead of how to acquire as much as possible so that when the population grows, right, the demand will favor you. That is, that is the analysis about uh, this report. Then, of course, let's examine issues around land acquisition in Nigeria. Of course, there are several issues recommend people even though they know that uh, it is good to invest in land, but they still have so many misgivings in investing in land. So, they are being careful. They don't want to waste their resources. So, let's examine those issues. Number one is trust issues. Trust issues. Sometimes, you don't know who to trust. You know, in trying to invest in this, uh, in taking an approach to investing in land. You don't know whether the, 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 the land is genuine. You don't know whether the people introducing to you, to you they are genuine people or they are about. That is one of the issues that makes one to you know take caution when one is thinking about investment in land. Of course, fear of Omonile. That's Omonile means the natural you know owners of land. Of course, uh, uh, even when we, we eventually buy, get to buy the land, we are always afraid of what Omonile will do. We, 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 we are always afraid of whether the Monile will, will sell our land to several other people. We are always afraid of the fact that maybe when we want to develop, they will come and say, bring money for foundation, bring money for roofing, bring money for that and that, which is always a, a problematic for somebody who is who I mean, is not at home, you know, we deal, we deal with these issues. So that's another, you know, I mean, issue. Then, of course, we talk about the security of tenure. Security of tenure means the guarantee that, oh, even if I have this land and, 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 I, and I possessed it, that somewhere along the line, something will not happen. Maybe government acquisition come or say this land, we are going, we are going to acquire it or something of that nature. Something that guarantees, or maybe I've, I've been in possession of land for almost 20 years, then another family said that they have won the, the, the another one in court, and then we have to start doing something they have to get. These are what we call regard to security of tenure. So these are the fears you know that people have you know in investing in land. Protection of title is another another issue you know that has to do with investment in land, knowing fully well. That a land that is not yet titled is far far cheaper you know than land that are titled so sometimes you may want to start our investment from the angle of buying from from uh, you know you know an untitled land and of course we have to perfect the title but of course that is also an issue because we want to buy cheaply but uh, you know the problem of now moving from the the level of you know uh, uh, untitled land to titled land that's uh, difference sometimes it's problematic for people who know what to invest in land then of course uh, at a personal level that is what I refer to as short term thinking short term thinking yes short term thinking by short term thinking I meant that sometimes you know people are so uh, myopic about when it comes to investment now some people like let me just buy that half of a plot that I want to buy or that one foot that I want to use to build my house you know, if I have gotten that one, and then I'm, I'm, I'm okay for life. You know, that is sometimes you know short-term thinking. We don't think beyond that concentric circle where we dream of you know, you know, getting you know to invest in you know much more land in order to secure our future. You get so so we need to expand our thinking. I know, and of course, sometimes this is not short-term. You know, you, you don't want to invest in land today. And probably you have a problem and you start running to want to sell land by four. No, that is kind of kind of the kind of mindset you will have when you are approaching this kind of investment scheme. Right? So you need to expand your mind. You need to you need to think in the long term, longer term, you know, for for, for you to be able to have maximum gains, you know, on this kind of investment. Then of course there is ignorance, which is lack of knowledge about how to you know, go about this thing so it makes it look so big like an enormous problem you know in the eyes of some people so and, and that is why you know they will not be thinking of oh let's let me uh, think of investing in land beyond 
you know what I think I can do and so many other uh, issues like that these are real issues that 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 cripple our minds from moving ahead to you know invest in land you know as much as we can so but of course what have we done at the level of perpetual real estates we have brought a solution you know that helps you not to be thinking of all these issues you know that will have to be disturbing you when you are thinking about investing in lands of course the solution is the concept of perfection estates the concept of perfection estate of course uh, this is introduced as a, a fulfillment of a vision that is powered by perfection real estate group which is to make home ownership and participation in the real estate sector more accessible to Nigerians. Of course, the professional estate idea provides you an opportunity and a platform to invest in lands, which in this case we're talking about. You can also invest in a building and also invest in home ownership. Now, the, 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 the basics of professional estate is that we will go to strategic locations, right, and acquire landed properties. So all the problems of titling, all the problems of Monile, all the problems of whether government will take my land or not, these are issues that we will look into, right? And we will help to carry the responsibility of addressing all those issues, whereby you can come and invest, you know, with peace of mind. So that will enable you. We have, we have helped to sanitize, you know, all those issues that will bother your head, that takes you away from investing in lands. So you carry the responsibility, and you can come and invest in peace. Now, every of professional estate location will be gated. You know, it will comprise of residential, commercial, educational institutional sporting and recreational facilities as well as excellent security systems these are the standard you are going to be seeing in every location where professional estate is located and of course professional estate project is going to be a national project all over the nation of course we're starting from a particular location and moving forward but this is the vision behind protection estate so you have to come in peace and invest you know in land property and that will enable you to be able to achieve uh, a secured future economy and generational wealth transfer which we believe in so strongly now let me introduce you to some of our locations you know that we have that you can quickly come and invest in for a secure future economy and generational wealth transfer we have perfection estate phase one that is located in Oshoroko in Ibejuleki It is just three minutes drive after Dangote Refinery in Ibejuleki. Then we also have Perfection Estate Phase 2, which is also located in along the Lagos Free Trade Zone in Etiosha Village, adjacent to La Campagne Tropicana Beach Resort along the Lagos free trade zone just about also about nine or ten minutes drive you know, after the Dangote refinery is located exactly along the road for you to assess perfection estate phase one and two you drive from Aja and then when you get to Eleko you turn in into uh, Eleko Beach Road and then of course passing through uh, Amen Estates 
right? You turn towards your left at the junction of that road, you know, and then of course on that road, you see the Lekki Free Trade Zone, the Seaport, the Diagote Refinery, and then you get to Professional Estate Phase 1. After three minutes, you know, after Dangote, then of course you get to Perfection Estate 2. Perfection Estate 2, you know, you know, this is the campaign to the kind of beach resort as you can see. Right? So you get to uh, a phase two. That is uh, how to locate Perfection Estate 1 and 2 in the Bejuleki. You also have Perfection Estate in Oriba. Oriba also is located in the Bejuleki right so and then of course oriba is just um you know strategically located in uh, another element of going by driving through a little bear road then of base off the lucky express road right now the beauty about this location is the fact that you drive through a little bit junction you drive far ahead when you drive ahead you are actually moving towards uh, Badore in Aja, right? So the the, 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 the the what is going for this uh, location is the fact that it is very you know nearer to uh, Badore in Aja. So there will be a link road by will be done by government at the end of the day, you know, and of course it's uh, that will link up to Aja. So it's not very it's not very far, you know, between uh, uh, Oriba and Aja when the road is actually uh, uh, that is why we have gone to strategically position ourselves you know uh, before this development happens if it happens of course you cannot you can never we're be hearing 200 million you know, 300 million that's what you're hearing so but it's good to go ahead and position yourself before those developments you know come on board and that is exactly what accounts for the great appreciation of your investment in these locations you also have Perfection Estate Manure in Eleron Bay. This is the, the, the location. This is exactly the same location as that of Oriba, right? Uh, it's also it's also along Eleron Bay Road. That is off, you know, Eleron Bay Road. You know, it is also very very strategically located. But of course, in Manure, you will not drive further ahead as in Oriba. You will just uh, turn, you know, uh, uh, immediately you enter. The Ellen of Bell Road, you drive for that a little bit and then you turn to your right. Of course, you know, another uh, a very good issue about this location is their proximity to the upcoming Lekki Airport. So, both Oriba and and uh, 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 Banyure are very close to the upcoming Lagos Airport. Now, let's let's go through this uh, uh, the location map. Now, you're driving from Aja, right? Drive down to Eleko. Now, as in the case of Perfection Asset 1 and 2, of course, you turn off from there at Eleko Joshua. But this time around, you won't do that. You will uh, go further down until you make a turn as if you are going to Epe. Now, immediately after the long bridge, you will see on your left hand side the Eleko Bear Road. And you pass through Eleko Bear Road, pass through Eleko Bear Road, right? You are going to Manure, of course, you turn off from here. You are on your way to Manure. But for Oriba, of course, you drive further down, like I said. Drive further down. Now, you're driving further down. If you look, if you don't have to read you know, the map, driving further down here means you are driving further. You're driving further to, to you know, Aja. I can you see. So you are driving further to Aja, right? But Oriba is somewhere here. So, in the future, when this road is linked up, right? Right now, there's no, it's still, uh, you know, still a, you know an evolving development but at the time by the time the 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 development fully comes up right then you will see that from here to you know about the Niger, just just be like a 25 minutes drive you're already in Aja. and apart from that the fort milan bridge it's going to be somewhere connecting badori as well so which means that from this location in the future you can connect Aja and from Aja to fort milan bridge in five or ten minutes you're already in the mainland that is the beauty you know of investing in this location at this point in time the neighborhood you know perfection asset one two and then oriba and and uh are all located in the bedroom and 
Of course, their neighborhood, the neighborhood infrastructure, the neighborhood attraction, all of them is that of course there is the Lagos Free Trade Zone, there is the Dangote Refinery, there is the Lekki Seaport, there is the upcoming Lekki Airport, the Fort Milan Bridge as well. There are upcoming several other residential estates that is coming up, you know, here and there. So which makes this location very strategic. Somebody will ask, why do you have a whole four estates in Ibejuleki alone? Well, you may not know, but I will tell you, Ibejuleki is now the hottest real estate investment destination in the whole of Africa. And all over the world, people are looking for Ibejuleki. You may not, because you are Nigerian or a Lagosian, this may not really make any sense to you, but people who don't have what you have are really looking for it. That is why you see so many investments, you know, like the refinery, so many foreign investments, you do. I mean, coming into it, but so you need to be a part of it. You need to own an investment, you know, in it, but don't let it pass you by, even if you won't live there. Let's make sure you have an investment in it, but that is that. Then we have perfection estate first tax phase two, perfection estate first tax phase two. Now, of course, Pekka Phase 2 is located in a Golima district of the entire Pestak Phase 2 project, which is a total of 1,126 hectares of land that has been concessioned to our partner company known as New Pestak Property Development Company Limited by the federal government. The federal government actually concessioned the development of 1,126 hectares of land to new first tax property development company limited who are our partners now new first tax is supposed to do the development of infrastructure you know in the whole of this 1,526 hectares of land but now the egolima district particularly you know is a proposed gated estate within the entire upcoming first tax phase two having a total of 1,000 plots of land which has been earmarked for perfection estate and available in various sizes from 250 square meter. Now, perfection estate has 1,000 plots of land within the Egolima district of the entire first stack phase 2 project. You know, that there, there, there will be a, a, a turnkey project, you know, occupying major part of the land, but there is another site that is called Egolima, which is a mark for perfection estate development, right? And that is where you know our location is. Now, this estate is going to be serviced plots, right? Where the infrastructure will have been developed. That is the reclamation of the land, the uh, roads, the drainage system, and the electricity basically will be done by New Festac. And of course, you know, you can buy uh, or invest into the land, you know, right now. But so that when these things are done, when they are fully realized, you have your value really appreciated, you know, that kind of thing. So that is that is what Perfection Estate F Stack, you know, is offering you, right? Now look at the uh, location map, you know, of Pestac. This is uh, the mile two. You know, going to Vadagri and, and so on and so forth like that. This is Festac town as we know it. This is the entire Festac town. The popular Festac one that you know. This is it. So that's uh, the, the Festac one. Then this uh, uh, blank uh, looking space is the entire of the Egolima district. You can see it? This is Egolima district where Perfection Estate, you know, is located. Now, those ones uh, verged in uh, red and white borders are uh, uh, where uh, a project known as Imperial City will be located. It's a, actually a turnkey project you know, that will be done by New Fresh Park Development Company. Right? So, so, you can see how beautiful you know, this place is uh, going to look like. Right? It's going to be a place that you know you'll be proud of owning or you get a point or investing in so that you can realize you know uh, your investment 
you know, very, very fast and very, very uh, valuable. This is the, uh, 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 I mean, the, uh, the layout you know, of the entire Egolema district, like I've shown you in the previous, uh, whatever, this Festac, uh, as you know, this Festac town, and then this is Egolema district, the plot are, plots are already laid out, you know, and there's properly zoned. And then, of course, this uh, white uh, border is the, is the Imperial City project, you know, as, as it is planned. So what are you waiting for? This is a good investment for anybody who can see into the future. You have to see it with the highest of your imagination. That is how to invest, you know, properly in um, real estate. Now, there's, there is also a special estate ecology. Perfection Estate Ikorodu. Right. As you can see, Perfection Estate Ikorodu is within, you know, it's like an extension of a developed community. So it is not as if it's a far cry or inside one a very uh, thick bush like that. That is far, a far cry. Developments are already going on, you know, at Perfection Estate. You know, the location is within a community popularly known as Butterfly Estate. It is off. Ishawo Road, a Greek Ikorodu, Lagos State. Now, geographically, the you know, Perfection Estate is actually positioned by the Express Road. Right? So, now, the, the road, there will be a link road from the Express, that is from Majidu, a direct link road from the Express that will link up to Perfection Estate in Ikorodu. Right? And that's, when it happens, it's going to blow up the value of you know the uh, uh, land within that immediate uh, region and of course including profession estates right now check the location map check the location map. this is this is the mile 12 to Ikorodu express road this is uh Ogolonto bus stop if you are familiar familiar with uh, 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 this region and then this is uh, a Greek bus stop of course where you turn off from Ishawo road you know, and then of course, when you get after the old police station, of course you turn in and then find your way, you know, to perfection, you know, estate. But now, this is the beauty of this location. Now, there is going to be a construction of a, a link road from the express road directly to perfection estate. And when immediately this happens, it will blow up the value of land within the entire region including perfection estate and that is why it is very important for you to come and invest at this particular point in time this road is already being constructed as i speak to you you can verify by going to brt park in majidu bus stop and you see you know a development that's going on here that's going to get to perfection estate you know direct from the express so that is the reason why we are here then of course let me talk about perfection estate in Shion. Perfection estate in Shion is in Ogun State. Right? You can see it's located on the express road. Um and then of course this is uh, 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 our our uh, the Israel Majesty, the Olu of Shion, right? And all the family that uh, you know owns this uh, land with us at the site. You can see behind us there. The uh, signboard of Perfection Estate, right? So now let me uh, let you understand about uh, Perfection Estate. Show. This is another strategic location, you know, uh, which should not be missed, right? It's actually a gateway, a gateway because wherever you are going in the whole of Nigeria, it will only take you five to seven minutes. You're already on the road. Now, from the point of our Perfection Estate. If you are going to Abekuta, I don't know this drive out, drive out, and then come into the uh, middle road. You know, you go towards your, your right. You are in, 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 in ten, five, ten minutes, you are in Abekuta, right? Then, if you're going to Lagos, you know, when you get to that junction, you, you, you turn to your left and drive towards the interchange. Now, if you're going to Lagos, of course, you connect to Lagos. If you're going to Ibadan, you can connect to Ibadan and straight, you know, to Abuja right or wherever then if you are going to uh the, the benin of course you, you turn also you know you connect to the way to benin you get so anyway it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a such a fantastic location 
you know, I, I, I mean, that anyone, you know, should not miss. The future of these places are very, very bright. You need not miss it. You know, you need not miss it. So, let me show you the location map. Of course, when you're coming from uh, uh, Lagos, right? Then this is the road to Benin, right? What we are going towards the east through Benin, of course, this is where we're to, But of course, just immediately after that uh, turning, you will go through the race right turn and climb the bridge. You will see the FRS, that is Federal Safety Commission here, yeah, and you turn in, you turn in, you are driving straight to the interchange. This is the interchange, right? This, is, this takes you to Abiakuta, right? This takes you to Papaland, to where there are so several estate locations. So, five, three to five minutes drive, and after the interchange, you will get to you know this junction, you know, known as uh, uh, Shion Junction. So, um, of course, you know, the Shion Junction, you only drive from here, of course, two minutes drive, you're already on the site. Then, if you're going to Abiyakuta, like I said, this is right on, you're going to Abiyakuta, if you're going to Mowe of Ada, you just cross along here and you're going to Mowe of Ada. If you're going to uh, uh, Lagos or Ibadan, of course, drive to the interchange. You know, if you're going to Lagos, of course, you join from here. Of course, I mean, you join from here. If you're going to Ibadan, you connect through, through this place to Ibadan. If you're going to, I mean, wherever you're going, Abuja, the north, of course, you know, this place is available for you. You know, and one of the beauty of it is that it is very affordable. You know, right now, this junction I'm talking about, junction that takes you to Shion, the one that takes you to Mowe, further is this, the one that takes you to Abekota here. And of course, just driving this way, you're going to the interchange, you know, I get to uh, Lagos, Ibadan, Bini, or wherever you're going, you know, in a short while. So now, those are the locations that I've shown you, and you can see that they are all very strategic. You know, you may replay this video just to, for you to understand, you know, uh, uh, these locations and why you need to invest in them, you know, uh, uh, very well, you know, before you go ahead. So, you believe so much in land investment more so the future is bright because the population will definitely grow and of course there will be demand for the land you are invested in today the reasons why you should consider investment in land is because one of course our life revolves around lands of course we use it in more parlance i say our lives revolve around real estate but of course around the revolve around land what can we do without land can we do our farms without land? Can we build our houses without land? Can we do that? Absolutely nothing we can do in this old earth without, you know, you know the land. Then, of course, land is limited in supply. That is the reason you must realize this. Land is limited in supply. Land is not no longer being created. Nigeria, as I know, is 923. 1763 or about square kilometer now the population of nigeria will expand right from 200 million to 400 million to 450 million but that figure of that 922 3, 000, will not change so and we will only be expanding within that within that space so which means there will be more demand for land it's not it's not land is no longer being created and that is the reason why you think and you know try to you know invest in land today land is indestructible you know it's you add when you invest in land you hardly have any maintenance cost you know little or no maintenance cost you know it's what you don't like when you have even uh, uh, you know houses and other stuff it's, it, i mean a lot of uh, issues that go with that one in terms of costing but when it comes to land land is that will not depreciate land will not tell you to come and bring uh, uh, this and that or maybe the placement of so it's just there and for several years it's just been appreciated so that is that is that is another reason why then as against inflation of course because of the opposition opposition of the land not by the time you are you are you are done to use the land for whatever purpose or maybe you are even realizing the land of course you have already had the against inflation you know so 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 that's one of the uh, another reason of course capital position is also Another another beautiful thing you get. Of course, edge 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 against inflation and capital inflation is almost you know the same thing, but they are interwoven. You get the point now. So then there's economic security investment in that. There is no wealthy man in this whole earth that you cannot account for its wealth by fifty percent in real estate, right? So so it gives 
economic security right and of course generational wealth transfer now i hope i've been able to also educate you about the need to invest in land the the the, the, the philosophy about land is that of course you have a secured future economy right it's like investing in something that appreciates in value and of course investing in land means that your children and your children's children have secured future they don't have to begin from where you begin from because you have invested for them right so this are the reason why you should invest in. i hope I have, I, you have learned from this and i'm willing that of course you will get in touch with us and of course we will guide you rightly on how to invest in land properly thank you very much for listening to me i appreciate your listening bye bye thank you very much